Welcome to the Plato Lounge, where we just chill. I trust this will suffice. God smiles upon the generous. Oh, away with you! Back to your cesspit, beggar! A land grotesque as its people. You dreamt of utopia. You saw the tribes united as one. Oh. That dream died long ago. You should have done the same. <laughs> Your kingdom will perish alongside you. By my hand. I cannot fathom it. His Majesty killed in his own bed. The blooms upon the Prince's grave had yet to wilt. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Thus vulnerable, an invasion might undo us. From within or without, the state hangs on a precipice. It may even come to civil war. In dark times, we must stand together. Your eminence! Who could do this? Few could even enter the king's chambers, let alone draw close. And yet... And yet, his majesty's arcane power could deflect near any blade. With all the royal bloodline's magic, who could harm him at all? Shadows stir in the castle just as they did with the prince. What hellbound soul could end a royal life? Who would dare such atrocity? Huh? Luis. A shame to die with no heirs. The prince was taken too soon. And only a king may wield the royal scepter, the very crux of his vaunted bloodline's magic, which made such a fine deterrent to war. One has to ask, them dead, who shall take the throne? Oh my gosh, <laughs> looks like we're in for quite the experience here. It's political, I'm excited about that. But first, let's do the intro. Oh, silken, silken now, baby. We're about to play some Metaphor Re Fantasy. Oh, I've been waiting for this for a minute as I'm a huge fan of Atlas. Persona 5 Royal is one of my favorite games of all time. So let's rock it. Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold.
far. A most unusual name. One I've never heard in our world. Which suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. But can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? Nah, fantasy could actually be quite powerful. More than wishful thinking, more than fiction. Something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds. This must be what you believe. I confess, my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. <laughs> Regicide? Okay, I guess we'll do this on New Game Plus, but uh, we'll do hard. That's how we roll, baby. Looks like we're in the clear. <sighs> the capital's just through this desert. Is it true then? <clears throat> the king is dead. Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the road safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. Uh, to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners. No crown or church will save us. But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is no tribute. You're with us or against us. And if you're against us... An igniter? How'd they get rid of those? <laughs> Right. Huh? Look at you. What have we got here? He's an elder. So he is. No horns, no knife ears. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. <laughs> Hold it! Should have listened to us, chum. Now fall in line! Let's want to get stuck like us! You drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. Stand aside! Ah, <laughs> oh, this place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Hey, 
You okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. Mission? What mission? Come on! This is no time for jokes. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. Think we'll make it? I'm thinking we should find a place where we can see the whole area. Cool, basic controls. Use the movement keys to move, hold RT while moving to dash, press O to dodge enemy attacks. Some actions you can perform in their corresponding controls are displayed at the bottom of the screen. You can also use the mini map to see which way to go. You can view tutorials you've seen before Let's in the go. menu. Cool. Man, I love the UI. <laughs> it's like the presentation of Wait, I'm sensing something close. Don't move. Watch out! Those look especially dangerous, so watch out. I don't think they've noticed this yet, though. Face sight. Press L2 to use face sight. This ability really lets you see what Galicia senses in the environment. When you see an enemy you've never confronted before, it will show up as unknown. Prepare as best you can. Okay. Cool. Whoa. That hurt. I'm right here. Okay, can I heal? Yeah, I don't think I can fight this thing. You can't die on it. You're all we have. <laughs> Will your tail end here? Okay. All right, let's do this. I'm right here. Come on. Watch oh. your health. Damn. It's not good. That was one attack. Did I do any damage to him? That's probably need two of them. Oh my gosh. Like, I want to fight one of them, but I definitely can't fight a bunch of them. Yeah. Let's just get out of here. What about this dude? Come and get me. Oh my gosh. These things don't quit. Baby, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Like, I'm going to kill one of these things, but <laughs> it's like they keep coming in packs. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Um, not to nag. Uh, not to nag, but that's exactly what you're going to do. I'm right here. Damn, I play freaking Elden Ring. Come on. I know how to attack. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay. I accidentally button mashed. I'll get stuck in animation. What? Come and get me. me. I just want to kill this one damn thing. And I'm using all my freaking medicine to do it. Uh, how do I lock on? I'm right here. At least they're easy to dodge. I don't think they want me to be able to kill them. Come and get me. I'm right here. Oh, I can sprint. That's right. <laughs> Too slow. Oh man, got stuck in animation. Man. Hey, your health is dangerously low. I 
get it. I get it. No! Checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? Right. <laughs> what am I doing again? Oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives. First, we get to the royal capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the army's recruitment center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. We don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Right. It's as though music is playing directly in my mind at the effect of the Galicia Music was magic. the first magic this world ever knew, after all. Makes the road a little easier. Look! Over there! What a relief. Grand Trad is already in sight. Let's go. Almost there. Let's keep moving and try to stay out of sight. Damn, I'm gonna... But I can kill that thing. Damn it. Kion! If I could just isolate maybe two of them. Hey, we got more herbs. See, the game is telling me to fight. If it's useful, I say grab it. And we got some music on it. Oh my gosh, there's so freaking many of them. Alright, we isolated. <laughs> I'm right here. Come on. Alright, come over here, guys. Come over here. Hey, uh. Okay, I get it, I get it. Come and get me. I'm right here. Watch your health. Come and get me. I'm right here. He's trying to bait me to hit aggro that lion. Buster. I'm sure I'm too. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Like this. You can't die. Please don't. So, fantasy is only fiction, is it? Got a sec? Hey, you found something. Oh. He's by himself. Let's get him. Oh my gosh. What? Where did he come from? Oh my gosh. Alright, whatever. Let's get out of here. Tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power of magic. The United Kingdom of Euchronia. The year is 785. Euchronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart. And no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built.
By this story of fantasy, may this faded world be painted anew. Hear my wish and come forth from the epoch of glory to grant me thy guidance. For misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead! <laughs> yeah! There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Why you spare some coin? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh. Careful! Hurry! <laughs> Street smarts? Come on, kid. <laughs> Look, we're not tourists here. We gotta stay focused. Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here, in the whole city, even. Was incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. We never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Plumars and Roussants than anyone else. Which means a dopey Elder kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Try to keep your head down, okay? Hey, did you hear what they're saying about His Majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play, assassination. Shh. Careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> The king dead, his son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power, but not even the kingdom's best. The saint could purify this affliction. Over 10 years he has languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest, but uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. Hey, are you listening? Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one, let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers.
Damn. Hey. Up ahead is Sunshade Road, it's where we saw the gallows and those beggars. Let's not go there. It's one thing I hate, Atlas and their damn mascots that always tell you what to do. <laughs> if I want to go explore, I just want to go explore. Simply amazing. Look over there, you can see the royal palace. No wait, that's something else. That's where the Grand Cathedral is. At least I assume so, since it's off the main street. Hey, who's this? So you. An Elda, huh? Pretty unusual in these parts. Oh, not trying to be rude, just mind yourself. The city ain't the friendliest to us inferiors. Does that bother you? Eh, I'm fine. Proper piss tribe or not, I can knock those full six inches deep. <laughs> I don't know. Damn. An elder? Here? Huh? An elder? In the style of a driver, how long will this take? Can't help but notice we passed the recruitment sensor back there. I bet I could register for the army faster than this carriage can ex exit the city, so hurry it up before I put a bounty on your horse's if head. I may. Now sir, please have patience with the royal funeral approaching, foot traffic is at an all-time high. Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types, too. What's a magic igniter? See, there's a couple in the window. Like an instrument plays a tune, an igniter casts magic. Pretty hard to come by out in the countryside. Can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, I'm not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. How much is it? You're not really going to fall for that, are you? How would you even know what the royal scepter looks like to begin with? You've really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? Uh... A symbol and instrument of the crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic. World-shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead, with no living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. Mm. Oh, I don't think I'll be here long. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We'll need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. Let's head there. This is a joy! Do the Lycon Magic Associations, igniters have to be so damn expensive. Though I suppose all magic igniters are something. I hear you, mate. Maybe I'll lodge a complaint with the shop owner, you know, like I did at the exchange earlier. <laughs> well, the shop is owned by Brigitte Lycon, 
I heard she isn't one to be trifled with, regardless of paying a customer. Let me speak with her. What am I to do? Nobody expected His Majesty's passing. There's no heir either. The Sanctus Church had him wrapped around their finger. He was good as dead to begin oh. with. My concern is how the annexed countries will react when they discover the royal bloodline is no more. I hope we can avoid a civil war. The royal funeral for his majesty, the king, will be held at the Grand Cathedral. Naturally, his eminence, Forden, will be in attendance as well. You may gather at the Grand Cathedral on the day of the event. Oh God, grant me guidance. It's a king! <gasps> oh, come off it. Ah, it's an elder. Why is one of your kind here in Grand Thrad? Trad, Grand Trad. What's wrong with me being here? Isn't it obvious? The church has made it clear that Elda willed devilish magic that defies the teachings of sanctism. Yes. Devilish magic, she says. If you're so magical, I doubt you'd have it hard in life. She's aggravating, but let's not cause a scene. You have to believe me. I saw it with my own two eyes. A monster was attacking a town and... Come now, if any of that were true, the army would have already been dispatched. Enough with your daft stories. You probably just got spooked by a wild dog and mistook it for a monster. A normal man would have just moved on, yet here you are harping on about it. Idiot. Peasant. Ridiculous. Stop! May I ask you to step away from the accumulator? That goes double for one of your tribe. Accumulator? Looks like you don't know anything. How pathetic. You if you have no business here, then be gone. You're getting in the way of my work. That's terribly unfair. Well met, eh? Let's go. Here we are, Grand Trad. Frankly, I don't have good things to say for how Pyrapis something. We know we don't need you telling us we got attacked by a monster in our hometown. Oh. We had no choice but to come here. Regardless of how we are treated here, we gotta make it work. We gotta make it work. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Leave it out, mate. Leave it out, mate. I was hoping that we'd blend in with the crowd and no one would have noticed that you're an Elda, but the people here have sharper eyes than I thought. We don't want to draw attention, but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stand tall. All right. er, easier said than done, I'm sure, but it's for the sake of the mission. And on that note, the recruitment center we are looking for should be just ahead. Huh? Recruitment center? What, you want to enlist or something? It's just down the road if that's the case. But an Elda enlisting? Bloody hell, what'll it be next? Wouldn't it be in such a sorry state if Lois was in power? The mouth on this guy. If we weren't focused on saving the prince, I'd give him a piece of my mind. But let's just grin and bear it. What are you playing at? Hmm. I'm out of ideas. I heard the Katharina caught another huge bounty. Yeah, even the army couldn't pin down its location, so we were at a loss about what to do. The Parapis have a nose for these things. She's putting the rest of us to shame. That's wrong, though. Ugh, shut up. That must be the recruitment center. I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Knock them dead. Oh, 
Okay, you got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's worth. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An uppity one, aren't you? Fine, Lordling. Welcome to the Guard, where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. All right, next. Hurry it up. Hmm, an elder. I thought your kind was long gone. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So, what brings you to enlist? I need the money. Huh. Pragmatic, if nothing else. But I suppose a vagrant like you could use the work. So, what can you bring to our beloved corps? Any skills to speak of? I've got a sharp mind. Yes, you and every unschooled troglodyte. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. Oh, I don't get a default name. Uh. You know your letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes. I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're short-handed as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Stand it as you guard with an armor and igniter. Kingdom property! So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. On your way now. Hop to. Next! But along the line, I guess we've got no choice but to wait our turn. Oh, whatever. You're so young. Are you enlisting too? Well, not of much choice if you don't have money or a job. Reeve makes the world go round as it were. You want a magic igniter? Join the queue. Cutting's only gonna get you chewed oh. out. Oh. You enlisting as well. The line starts behind me, so, or was there something you needed? Are you really a noble? I take it you overheard my interview. Yes, guilty as charged. I'm a noble, but just a countryside son of a lord. My family is of no real consequence. Well, well let's just say I have my own circumstance. I'm volunteering to fight in order to protect the kingdom, foolish or not. Blasted. I came to enlist because I heard you can make a quick reef here, but they really make you work alongside creepy Elda? A parapist I can deal with, but Elda are right on this. Where do you hear that? <laughs> God's own scriptures, that's where. I guess you can't expect an Elda to know shit. <sighs> Let him say what he wants. Fighting someone like him would just be a waste of energy. Boy, <sighs> they say tribe don't matter in the army, but they'll probably put up front as a meat shield. Not that I can find better work. Wish I could serve Count Luis. His army's built on merit, so even a pair of his stands a chance. Look at that. There are a lot of wanted posters. This is no time. Oh, shut up. I heard they. 
they get. Sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? <laughs> Wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um, human... Next! Another Clamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. Spare off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force and crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure Roussant strength? Oh, forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> the thing around his neck is apparently a magic igniter. The captain I spoke with earlier had one too. They must take on many different forms, like I saw on the main street. Hmm. And take this too. Protect it with your life. Royal Capital Vicinity Map. Wow, that's a real map! It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Hey. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. Dismissed! Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet, but he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Um, hey. You awake? Nope, I'm asleep. Good night. Ha ha, very funny. Look, I just have a lot on my mind can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still. When you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open? It's a lot. You okay? It never gets easier. Yeah, I can tell. Try to put it behind you, okay? Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? I'd rather not think about it. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I'll drop it. The prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? Sure, I guess. 
I gotta say, I've been curious. Thanks. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow. I see. No magic. No tribal conflict. And equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy. But it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. Well, guess I'll just read more later. Good night. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet... They burned your home down. It's tragic. And no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. I won't give up either. Trust me.
until arrival at the northern border fort. One day remains. Let's see. I wonder how far we've come. Let's find our destination. Okay. This place here, this place here, is here. Hey, don't forget. Okay then. Oh, we could do for now is rest. We have a big day tomorrow. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The Northern Border Fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. I can hardly feel my legs. Listen well, you lackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician, master of arms. When I earned rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades. Spare us this drivel. Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? It tells of a world united as one tribe. No discrimination, eh? A far cry from our world, then. So it's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you. A babe with his first sword thinking he knows better than a king. Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. Ugh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. If it's a fight you want, draw your blade. <laughs> Didn't think you'd just challenge me, Straight Al. You've got guts for a lesser tribesman. Well, Clamar, I'll let it go this time, but only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? That's my name. I have that right? It's got a certain weight to it. For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, um, where was I? Right, as for you, fresh meat. Someone, help! Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? Listen. Stay on guard. It's... It's too... Uh... Not one of mine. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king's death. Uh, anyway, to the fort. Double time! I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's wounds. You want us to go on ahead? Alone? 
Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Are you a traitor to the cause? The Guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's Royal Army. Swallow your fear, fight with pride, and we'll all have medals this time tomorrow! He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go! Damn it. Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward, to the fort then. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's... a stench in the air, and it's getting stronger. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a... fairy? Did you catch it yourself? She's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Gallica. So you travel together? You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly? I'm not so sure. He's never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be all right. I swear, I won't let you die. I'm with you. New ally, Strahl. Strahl, a brave fighter trying to conceal his nobility, has become your ally. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. Well, this is, well, this is an unexpected turn of events, but don't lose sight of our mission, okay? I know. Here we go. Be careful, our contact should be inside and we just have to find him. <laughs> You're running with such purpose. What was that you were talking about? You said something about your ally. Actually. Oh, it's nothing. I was just worried about the soldiers inside. I see. I see. Well, whatever the case, the situation concerns me too. Let's go inside. Oh, we got skills. <laughs> hey, I actually have time to talk. There's like a lot of cinematics in this game so far, like beautiful animation. And then once again, Atlas is the best in the business with its UI, 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 U. <laughs> and once again, Atlas is the best with UI, user interface and user experience. It is just gorgeous. Like that map earlier was incredible. Okay, so we got skills. We have fire, mage, fire, items, typical. We finally get to see some combat, which is nice. <laughs> we'll just ignore my attempts earlier when we first started. still draw breath. <sighs> Damn, that thing looks crazy. No, none of them are breathing. Damn, we were too late. But there might be others. Let's keep searching. Oh, 
This is bad. Get back, we've got company. What's the deal with this one? It feels similar to that monster from earlier. It's smaller, but is that a human too? It looks like we're going to have to fight it. Wait, if it's a human, do we even stand a chance? All the more reason we can't just let it be. Trust me, I have some history with them. What do you think? Besides, our only hope right now is to join forces and strike as one. Would you not agree? I agree. Huh. I'm glad you've still got your wits about you. What is Look, we don't stand a chance against that thing if we attack it separately. We can only fight if we work out a plan together. Take care of it, please. Understand the two of us working as one. I'll trust your judgment on the timing of the attack. Alright. <sighs> Oh, cold. Right, Let's give him a fight. Let's Let's a little quick. On hard enemies receive an additional turn icon in most battles. And we are playing hard, so let's rock it. Alright, so first off, let's try our fire. The power of fire! Got him. Unspeakable. Yeah. Looks like we're safer. Alright! Ooh, we pulled through somehow. We're alive and that's all I could ask. Let's press forward while we still can. Damn, there are a lot of bodies, aren't there? It's terrible. There must be soldiers around who are still alive. We gotta find them. Wait. Hold on. Be careful. There's another one. If it spots us, this could get nasty. But we have the element of surprise. We could catch it off guard if we strike now, right? Sneak attacks on enemies. If you manage to successfully attack an enemy without being seen using square, there's a chance their entire break gauge will deplete at once for an okay. instant stun. I just don't want to use too much of my MP. Not done yet. But then maybe that's better. Brace yourself. Instead of taking damage like that. There's just no one persona. <laughs> the first dungeon is always the most difficult. Because it's mainly uh, you run out of resources quite fast. Oh, we self-allocate our points. That is interesting. I don't know if I like that, though, because they haven't given me any explanation about what my character type is or any of that. So it's like, I don't want to put points in anything until I understand it first. Unless they allow me to respec. Okay, I'll retain unused points. Let's keep it like that. That was the last of it. See, I really like that. They just show me there's an item so I don't have to go around destroying a bunch of crap to find stuff. I hate that. It's such a waste of time. And it breaks, like, your pacing. Serve your mana. There's no way I'm stopping here. I think we're in the clear. Ow. He's still breathing, but he's badly <sighs> wounded. And Elda, don't bloody touch me. I'm in a bad enough spot without you making it worse. That monster showing up was your fault, wasn't it? Bad luck follows you people. 
Ah, uh, of course, this is how it ends. Damn it, damn it all to bloody hell. <clears throat> all right. Run. You're so young, a fresh recruit. Get away from here now. That thing is up ahead. No. There's still more soldiers left alive, right? We can't just run and leave them be. You are too late. That monster, we can't just run away. Stay away from that thing. Damn it! Ah, oh, damned Elda. I knew this fort was cursed. You're why that horror attacked. Calm down. It's not his fault the human appeared. You must know that, surely. But, but, everyone's dead. They all had families. Help me, Elda. I don't care anymore. I don't want to die. Damn it. Hold on. Wait. You... I can't answer that. <sighs> Yet you cannot deny it either. Why hype at this for me? I trust you have a good reason. Well, to tell you the truth... What? That cry, is that the human from earlier? Was that...? It sounded like it came from the top of that tower. Maybe there are still soldiers fighting it there. Hurry! We'll handle our personal matters later. Rescuing any survivors takes precedence to the top of the tower. Let's hurry! I didn't think that would take me to a cutscene. Right. Good that? This is our chance. Forward. Bruh. Stop using your mana. The next one will fall just as easy. Okay, so one point levels up automatically, then it gives me another point to distribute how I want to. Okay, that works. Uh, am I missing anything? I don't think so. Man, why do you keep using magic against uh, scrubs? There's no way I'm stopping you. We made short work of them. more attack damage than I do, yet keeps using his magic. There are still some foes around. Let's give him a fight. I'm tough. I'm a witness. Still up. The power of fire. 
Wish every fight was that easy, eh? Whew. That should do it. Man, the AI is not great. Alright, how's that? Okay, let's yeah, take this all we've got. Get in there! Finish him off! Cut. Oh, oh, one. One out. Good one, Stroll. Only one left. Finish it off. We're clear. A tough one. Burn to us! <laughs> Even easier than expected. The roof is just up ahead. Might I have a moment? If I'm honest, I have my doubts that there could be survivors. Facing that monster together may not even save anyone at this point. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's the noble thing to do. Um. Isn't that just throwing your life away? Why do this if it's possibly for nothing? Why? Because if there's a chance that there's even one survivor, then I'll not be the noble who runs away. Not this time. I can never live with myself. This time? Hey. And you? You plan to forge ahead despite the risk? I take it you refuse to die until you found whoever it is you're searching for. There's no turning back. Leave it to me. There's no way I'm running from this now. I see. I'm heading out. Well then, lend me your strength. What do you think? This feeling, I knew it. That human from earlier is up there. What should we do? Let's roll. Yep. Try not to do anything rash. Okay, here we go. Oh, I should have saved. Whoops. Ugly looking thing. Damn humans. It was all because of them. We'll just have to make it work. No, the de mission depends on our survival. All right. Let's go. Fire. Ha. <laughs> Vile monster. You're mine. Burn to us. I need to play the role of the healer. This should work. Helpful as ever. The power of fire! <laughs> How is it this strong? What more can I do? The prince is my best friend. I need to save him. I can't die in a place like this. And yet... I'll distract it. You two, run! But! Above all else, I am a noble. And a noble defends his people, no matter the cost. Farewell. If you would repay me, then live. <laughs> Wasn't enough. What? No! Please, say something! Stroll! Don't be a fool. Just run for it. Oh, fate-saddled child. Oh, anguished traveler. Uh. <laughs> thy fate is crown twined, thy soul bound for the throne. A future yet unknown dawns in this moment. <laughs> thy path may fork, but only one may be chosen. Confront the threat before thee, or die here in obscurity. Now choose. I choose. So be it. Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. 
Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Engrave thy very heart. So it's like kind of like Persona, but I'd say it's almost more like Legend of Dragoon, maybe? Unless, maybe a combination of the two. Okay, deals weak wind damage to one enemy, weak HP recovery for one ally. One ally, okay, let's see this. Wind! Alright, that did the trick! Mon power doesn't even compare. What's more, it can use magic despite its lack of an igniter. Attacking weak points. Certain enemies are weak to certain affinities. After you've hit one of these weaknesses, the word weak will be displayed. Hitting an, en uh, hitting an opponent's weakness or scoring a critical hit against them will only decrease the turn icon by half. Looks like it mainly attacks with the head wings and blade feet. We can target those. Yep, that makes sense. Come forth, royal soul. Okay, yeah, it's definitely for some. Freedom of a wanderer. I wanted to see if my attacks are going to be powered up. By the power. Freedom of let's go. Wind. Let's push through. Let's go. Yeah. 
pegamos esse cara. Thy strength is drawn, yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake. Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero, the power that lies dormant in all of us. The power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shall reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! <sighs> Uh. Look, that stroll guy is still alive. I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. That voice. Grius! Oh, thank goodness you're alive! Gallica, you made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy, lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry him. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive, and you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Ah, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius, you have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Luis Squeaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. No scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that, Luis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a farsight mirror. You need to see the prince's condition for yourself. Through the mirror lies the prince deep in sleep. His highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Luis cast the curse, so killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just gonna crown a new king. And who's Luis? Is that a real question? About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. 
Luis Guillermoon, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guillermoon himself. But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, or the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn the man. But he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, this isn't going to be easy. That's a hell of a mission. And I want in. So that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. Uh, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret this, and I will slay you where you stand. You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. We have to. Save the prince from the death's curse. Save the prince from his curse and defeat Luis Guebern, the treasonous fiend who not only attacked the prince, but murdered the king. Deadline unknown. Luis will also be at the royal funeral. If we are not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We're bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way round. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. Grease, the battle-hardened veteran, has become your ally. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. No. We should finally be able to get some rest. This is your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found on those monsters. Ah. <sighs> well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. Mm, tell me more about the mission. I want to hear about the mission. With numbers like this, a head-on assault would be suicide. Quick! Covert assassinations are best bet. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, 
He's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays saviour. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And the three of us alone are supposed to stop him? We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand. The fire should keep their really dangerous stuff away. What was that power in you, I wonder? Grea seemed to know something about it. Well, well hey, I say use it or you lose it. That said, let's take a rest of the day off. Ha ha ha. I want to talk some more. Sure, if you want, but let's take a break eventually, okay? You know... Oops. Ugh. Never in all my life have I witnessed anything like that power you used. Tell me, is it some sort of magic? No, I suppose it couldn't be. Not with the igniters we were supplied with, at least. Yours was broken in the commotion, besides. <sighs> Incredible, if only I'd that kind of power back then. Apologies, I'm just thinking out loud. Today's been a trying day for us both, so let's get some rest. Mm. You've done a fine job delivering that message, lad. It's finally time for us to act for his highness. Ah, you want to ask about that power, don't you? Huh? I had a question of my own. You seem to know a great deal about the royal family. Before you infiltrated the army, who were you? Indeed. Nothing but a mercenary, and yet his majesty gave me the honor of being his highness the prince's tutor in swordplay. The night of the attack, I was there. I see. Truly, that's incredible. You know... Do you want to take the rest of the day off? Yeah, let's get some rest. Good, I'm pooped. 